Well, today is a special day because Laura Lynn Tyler Thompson, who was the co-host of 700 Club Canada, is back. Yes. <laughs> Laura Lynn, you yes. are awesome. Thank you. I mean, as my friend, and yeah. I mean, I just to say from the top, like you pass a torch to me yes. in such an amazing way. You've just yes. cheered me on through this. I can't thank you enough. I have, and uh, and it's wonderful to see you just, you know, uh, taking it on and sharing all that good time with Brian. Right? Yes, How much do you miss Brian? You. Okay, right. I miss Brian. Yes. You know, I remember I used to say to Brian that uh, I, you know, I just want to be a wrecking ball. And he right? would laugh and he'd say, you know, you've got it in you, you know, and he'd encourage me, you yeah. know, or, or yeah. he'd have um, his very precious ways. And he, uh, you know, he, when you walk with somebody for that long, yeah. you go through some trials. And one time I was going through something and he said, you know, you have to hold out for the big finish, Laura Lynn. Mm -hmm. I couldn't see the big finish. Yeah. I couldn't yeah. see how this was going to resolve. Yeah. yeah. Because sometimes we go through hard times and... We don't know where God is. He's, yeah. he's kind of silent. Right? I know that, Laura Lynn. And Brian encouraged me, and he said, Laura Lynn, you hold out for the big finish. God is a big God. Yeah. Oh, and uh, so I miss him. I yeah. miss him. You give him well, my we love. we miss you, too. And I know yeah. the viewers loved you and just, just amazing. We did the, the 2000th. Show. Yes. Wow. So there'll be the recap. You can see yourself okay. all in all those years. Oh, I can't wait. And thank you Very for your nice. ministry. And you know yeah, what I love about you, you Lynn? Like, you are truly courageous. Mm -hmm. Now, you might not have thought that you would be. No. And even as you share your, your story. I have approval story. addiction. Like, like uh, you know, Joyce Meyer, she yep. wrote that book. I, I, it should be dedicated to me, <laughs> you know? I just wanted everyone to love me. And right. then. This whole season has yeah. brought on a season of really standing up right. like Jeremiah's call. Right. So you move from, you know, this daily show yeah. into politics. Yes. Like who would have thought? Who How did thought? you get there? What what did what was on your heart? What was the passion? How did God well, reshape your heart I for mean, that? I mean, Canada is such an amazing place, right? Mm -hmm. So I love Canada. I loved sharing that love for Canada with yeah. Brian. But when I found out that Canada I know that your viewers are awake and I yes. know that they're seeing that we don't have the same freedoms anymore, yeah. that we don't have parental rights. Yeah. Not what we thought we had. Yeah. We cannot seem to control what is being taught to little kids in school right. that we don't agree with. Right. So when I realized that something had come in without me even noticing, something rose up inside of me and I just... I couldn't stand it. And, you know, the Lord gave me a verse early on. And uh, I'll just read it for you because it kind of sets up everything that happened. And, you know, for all of you out there who love the Word of God, let's remember Jeremiah. Do you know what it says? If you go to Jeremiah, okay, in the Bible, at the very top, do you know what it says about Jeremiah? This a wrecking ball? This is in every Bible. No. <laughs> yeah, he's a wrecking ball. Yeah. <laughs> he was in a way. But it yeah. says, Jeremiah led an emotionally tortured life. Wow. That's my calling. Praise the Lord. Wow. Jeremiah, the prophet Thanks. of tears, right? Thank you, God. Oh. And then, you know, so from one end of the country, yeah. I, I had a prophetic word spoken over me about Jeremiah 1. Yeah. And then I had it happen uh, in, the, in the West. Yeah. And God just constantly, he, people would say, you just have just such a, a strong call. So this is what Jeremiah did. God said to him, get yourself ready. Stand up. Say to them, whatever I command you to say, and do not be terrified by them, or I will terrify you. Wow. And you see, yeah. I have more fear of God yeah. than I have of man now. Yeah, I love that about you, Laura Lynn. And I think as I watch you navigate this difficult assignment, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And I, I watch the ch there's challenges in politics that aren't in most yes. other places of work. Mm -hmm. What would you say are the lessons that you've learned? I mean, obviously resilience, obviously yes. courage, but as you just, there's got to be some rewards in it. There's got to yes. be some, you know. Huge rewards. What, what are the rewards in being well, in politics? Well, the, the reward I find right now is to be able to speak without fear the, the word of the Lord, mm -hmm. to stand up with great courage against all, you see Jeremiah's call, it says that God had called him to stand against the magistrates, mm -hmm. so the princes of the land, yeah. and the priests. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I find myself speaking strongly to our Christian brothers and sisters who right. are not awake yet, right, right. who maybe are too fearful, pastors. You know, they. there's many reasons that we kind of, you know, would rather just like have peace at any price, right? right. But 
as the Lord has called me to just stand. And, you know, if you got a husband who loves you, right? And I've got that. If you've got your kids who, no matter what, you'll still be mom, they'll be there, you know, uh, even if you still bug them, you yeah. know, and I do get on my kids' nerves. No. I mean, shocking. No, really? <laughs> I know, it just, you know, I don't yeah. know why. <laughs> but, um, uh, and if you've got a couple dogs, and if you've got a couple of really good friends, can I tell you that is a recipe for courage? Because mm -hmm. you you know that you've got those who stand with you. Yeah. The rest of it, um, so I've been called terrible names now in the press for standing up for, for what I believe is right. right. I have been called horrible things. I have had death threats sent to me. I've had terrible pornographic pictures sent to my email. I've had people who have made me feel unsafe and that I, le I need to drive around and kind of have a look around to see who's, mm. who's watching yeah. because I stand. Yeah. And all of that has led me to a place of just complete surrender to God. You know, mm. my life is not my own. It is God's. Wow. Yeah. He will. He brought me here and yeah. he'll take yeah. me out. He and will. only when he wants to. That's right. He will. And you know I what? Trust that. I, I have this little saying, as you know, mm. do it afraid. Yes. It's not because you are never, you know, experiencing those emotions yes. of fear, mm -hmm. but it's it's just you're able to do what God's called you to do because he does enable you to do that. Right. And you have this deep conviction. I just love that yes. about you. Well, you know, Revelations, Lori, in the end, it has this list of those who do not make it, right? It has a list, and it's a terrible list, murderers, adulterers, and all that. But do you know that the very, uh, the very first one that God calls out is uh, cowards. Yeah. Cowards. Yeah. Yeah. And I I don't want to be mm. a coward. Mm. I don't want to be somebody who said, I didn't stand when you called me to stand. Right, right. And I didn't expect this call. Yes. And 700 Club Canada didn't expect That's this call. That's right, yeah. And, and as the Lord has opened new doors yeah. and new pathways, yeah. I know I am exactly where the Lord wants yeah. me to be. Yeah. And I trust him. And you know what? God is using you in our nation as he did on 700 Club Canada. Yes. Because the way in which you communicated then yes. with the same heart, Mm -hmm. for the love of God, loving God and loving people. Right. That is the same heart that you take into this new calling. Yes. And we affirm you in that, you yes, know? Like, I just love that that we can do the assignment God's called us to do, yes. right? And so can our viewers, yes. right? God may call you to hard things, right? Yes. Who said it was going to be an easy road? Absolutely. But he will give you the courage and strength to do it. Well, if it's it. not too big for your mind, you know what I mean? Yeah. If you don't feel overwhelmed, if you don't feel like it's too great of a call, then maybe you've started to get a little bit complacent, yeah. you know? Yeah, because that's true. Because God loves it when we're like, I don't know if I could do it, right, you know? Right. When I had to go up, you know, in a, a political debate, against one of the leaders of yeah. the of one of the parties yeah. right I was terrified I wanted to throw up all the right. way <laughs> right. to that location right. Right? right right but I stood and I spoke yeah. and I I have only one hope that righteousness would be restored to yeah. our nation yeah. to yeah. our parliament yeah. and when I was growing up nobody ever said oh Laura Lynn you know you should get into politics right. I mean often I just feel like legally blonde goes to parliament yeah. you know that's <laughs> yeah. like you know yes. like uh, you've got to be kidding me yeah. <laughs> you know what do I really have oh, right it's so but good Laura Lynn so I have good. the power of the living God and yes, I am you blessed. Do. Thank you for doing what you do. Oh, and thank you, you for give, doing what you do. You Would will you give Brian a big hug. I will. For me, I okay? will. Would you pray right now? Yes. That prayer, you just said it, that righteousness would just reign in our land. Would you pray that? Yes. Yeah. Father, we thank you, Jesus, for what a great and an awesome God you are, that we can trust you, Lord. Father, we trust you for our families, for our friends, and Father, we ask you for our nation. Some things are upside down right now. I pray that all corruption would be exposed. I pray that evil, oh God, would be exposed by the light of your goodness. Mm -hmm. And that, Father, you would protect Canada and protect our future generations. We ask this mm -hmm. by the matchless name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 We love you. Thank you. Keep praying for Laura Lynn. And you too, engage, do what God's asked you to do, and let's all be a voice in our nation as followers of Jesus. Mm -hmm. We love you, Laura Lynn. Thank you. Thank you so much.